Hi everybody, Jill from Thurston Coves here. Uh, Happy New Year by the way, first of all, get that out of the way. Um, coming to you this afternoon from the Pont Shed up at Thursday Coves, um, just wanted to talk to you quickly about um, a wee thing that we're going to be starting on a Friday night. Kind of like jobs for the weekend, things that you could be doing, uh, things that you could be getting on with in the garden. If you need a little bit of motivation or you need a little bit of advice, then uh, you can give us a shout. You can pop your questions down, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, all of that. Yeah. Um, if you haven't grown before, if you're a beginner and you're kind of new to this and pretty unsure about where to start, um, have a wee think about what you want to grow. And do a little bit of research, there's loads of stuff on the internet of course these days, loads of books and things, magazines that you can get. Um, but have a little think about what it is you actually want to, to, to do. With your planting, either you might just want to plant flowers, and that's fine, you can still talk to us, or you might want to think about growing your own vegetables. And if you want to start with that, then I'm going to give you a bit of advice. I'm going to say you grow something that you actually like, yeah? Because the first time I grew something, um, food-wise, it was broad bean. And I don't really like broad beans. Um, but that's what I grew. I grew that because actually it's quite easy and it's quite straightforward. And they're quite hardy, so it doesn't really matter about the time of year. Um, that's all that means. That it, if it's winter time, you know they'll, they'll they'll tolerate frost and wind and stuff like that to a certain extent. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, think about something easy, and think about something that you you actually like to eat. Um, newcomers, when you when you first start this, newcomers can be quite unsure about where to start, um, and that's okay because uh, we all felt like that. Yeah. So. If I think about it, back to when I started, um, I could barely tell you the difference between a daffodil and a tree. Um, so I'm slightly better now. But uh, yeah, it can all be a bit kind of um, over the top and you feel that you're being bombarded and particularly with sort of conflicting information as well. You read one thing and then somebody else says something completely different. Um, so I'm going to say to this as well that gardening is quite, a, I've learned, quite an inexact science, okay? There's not really a right or a wrong way to do things because an awful lot of it, of course, is determined by the climate and uh, and where we are. You know, that, that might be suitable, something might be suitable for quite a mild coastal area, but if you try and grow that inland, that's not going to happen, particularly um, if you're up a glen, for example. Okay, so, and what you might find works in the first year, and you think, oh my God, I'm awesome at this growing lark, how good am I? Um, you try growing it the next year and it doesn't work. Something goes completely wrong and you don't get a single seedling coming through. So so I've had that as well. So I would say gardeners, uh, we're pretty much, um, we're a bunch of experimenters, yeah? Um, and then of course on top of that, we've got the weather, haven't we? We've got the weather. So I think the best bit of advice that I can give you, if you are actually thinking about starting out and doing this, is uh, learn to cooperate with the weather. I think that's probably one of the best bits of advice that I was given is cooperate with the weather. Um, but if you want to have a go, um, have a wee think about what it is you want to grow. Um, as I said, pick something simple, pick something fun, yeah, because it's meant to be fun this as well. Um, and have a have a little have a little go at it. So basically, on a Friday night, we're hoping to bring you things that we've been doing in the garden, um, and sort of like jobs for the weekend kind of thing. As I said, so. Basically what we've been doing this week, we've got all our garlic finished planting, we're a wee bit late with it, but we've got it in eventually. Um, and we've just been checking on some of the seedlings that were sown just at the tail end of sort of August, October there. Um, one wee thing I did meant to say to you, and I, I was going to show you this, was if you want to buy yourself a little plug plant, if you don't feel confident enough to have a go at, at planting and sowing seeds, watch this space, um, then you could buy yourself a wee plug plant and that's a good way to start as well. And what I mean by a wee plug plant is this little devil here. This is actually a broad bean um, and uh, these are great for starting out for beginners because somebody's already gone to the bother of getting the seed started and going and then you can buy these and they can be um, reasonably cheap as well, 60, 70p upwards, um, but they're usually not very expensive to buy plug plants at all. But these are a good way to, to get yourself going, pop it on your windowsill, pop it on your doorstep and off you go. Yeah, you're up and running. So um, keep a wee eye out for these posts on a Friday. Um, I hope you get a little bit out of it and uh, certainly we'll do our best to answer any questions that you've got as well. And uh, who knows, um, you might even like like your own broad beans that you've sown. Um, 
my god, mine were ace when I actually cooked them, they were really good, so uh, give it a go, see how you get on, okay? Hope to hear from you all soon. Cheers, bye.